In this video we're going to discuss a new feature that's been added to the National Association of Expert Advisors edition of Plan Plus. There's three drip campaigns, buyer, seller, and keep in touch. So to find the drip campaigns, there's a little bit of setup that's required for these drip campaigns. So this video will walk you through the elements of setting up the process. So we've imported many of the templates. You're going to have to go into your account. You're going to have to create the campaign. So this will give you an opportunity to edit the templates if you'd like. If you go into the template library, you may see them in folders or you may see them in a big list just like this. If you want to create them into subfolders, you certainly can do that. So if you create three folders, buyer, seller, and keep in touch, you'll notice that each of the emails is labeled with an, either the name or an abbreviation. So SD would stand for seller drip. So what I can do is I can come in, I can open up this template. You can associate it with your seller drip folder. You want to look at the template over just so you're comfortable with the emails that you're sending out. There's a couple places where you want to go and plug in your information. There's some merge fields that are available and then you also just want to look at the template and make sure that it's, it's putting the correct information in here. So you want to go through each one of the templates and while you're doing it it's a good idea to select the folder that they're in. Okay, through the magic of fast forward, I've got almost all of my templates here organized into folders. This has taken me probably about four or five minutes. And I do seller drip, and I just review my last template. I see if there's an email address or a phone number that I need to put in. We also have some merge fields that are going to pull your information in as well. So those will automatically pull in. I submit that. So I've got all of my seller drip organized into that folder. That'll make it a little easier when we get to the part of building the campaign. So now what we'll do is we'll go back here to the campaign new and we'll select a new drip campaign and if you see this message it means that your outbound email settings have not been set up. So you, you with these emails to make sure that you're in compliance with the spam laws you've got to have a valid from address and postal address for your email campaign. So now I can go back to new drip campaign. I'm all ready to go. I'm going to call this one my seller drip. And then what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to want me to select my templates. So if I if you put them into the folders, you can select them here. If you didn't take the time to put them into the folders, then you'll just select them out. So you'll notice that when I click on this one it puts it up here as a selected template. So you just go through your list and you basically will just have to click on each one of these so that it puts them up in your selected templates. And it's, it's only going to allow you 10 steps. There is a way to add additional steps if you've got more than 10. So on day 1 you're going to go ahead and send out SD1. On day 30 you're going to send out SD2 on day 60, SD3, you get the idea. Okay, so I just paused and again I just went and finished those up. That took about another three or four minutes there. I'm going to click next. So now I've got all of those templates. If you want to send yourself a test, a sample of each one of those, you can send the sample. Now if I go back to my campaign summary, I'm going to see there's my seller drip. And again, if you've got more than 10 steps, you can go ahead and add in those other steps. It looks like I missed my SD5. That should be at day one, day 120. So I come over here, I can select day 120, and I can, I can select my SD5. And then the schedule name is just basically the same. You can name it the same as the template. If you want to name it something different, you certainly could. Then as you click New here, you'll see that it puts that template in. So I'll just go ahead and do that for my other two emails that I want to add to the end of my campaign. I've got one for day 330 that I want to add. And I type in SD. That pulls up all my SD or my seller drip campaigns. And this one will be my square peg. I'm just going to copy that and put it in the schedule name to make it easy. That takes me to 12. I've got one more and this this completes 13 email templates. It's good for a full year of follow-up. Okay. 
Okay, so you can review your template. Anytime if you want to come in and edit these templates, you can click the Edit Pencil and you can edit the content of that email template. Now one important thing, when you when you build the drip campaign, before you can actually start using it in production, like a lot of, you've got to come in and you've got to click the Publish button. So make sure that your campaign is published. That's going to be an important component. And there's also another important element right here, the Advanced Drip Campaign Settings. You should already have a saved search. If you do not have a saved search, then you will need to create one. I'll show you where to go to do that. Now this saves search, the seller drip, so it's going to be based on seller drip equals on. We'll, this, we'll explain this in just a second. This will make a little more sense. So what this setting right here is this limits this campaign that it will not send the campaign if the contact criteria does not equal this seller drip equals on. So let's go talk about what that seller drip equals on is all about. When I go to the contacts page, and I've got my contact in here. There's this contact marketing section. There's a new field that's been added. So here we have seller drip. All you've got to do is set that to on and click the update button. And from the end user's perspective, you know, once you get through the administration of setting this all up, all you're going to have to do is set seller drip to on. And there's also other ways to trigger that. You can do it right from a sales process. But if that's on, it means that that drip campaign is going to start. If you want to stop that drip campaign at any point, you just turn that to off and that drip campaign is going to stop. So that's how you use it from the end user's perspective. Now the last thing that we've got to do is we've got to set this drip campaign up so that it runs each and every day. So we go to account setup, the background workflow engine. This is where all of the, the jobs, you might say, are running inside of the system here. So this is a scheduled campaign for contacts. And I don't have any in here yet, so we're going to do create a new job and this is going to be my seller drip and the contact save search I've already got a save search in there so I just say seller drip equals on my campaign is the seller drip and they, these are some features that would allow you to update a field uh, in this case we don't need to do that so we're going to click submit and then the last thing you've got to do is just make sure and check the enable button so if you ever want to turn this drip off you can just come in here to this background engine and you can uncheck the box for enable. You can check or uncheck the box to enable or, or disable the process. Now, this job runs once a day. So once a day, it's going to come through and it's going to send those emails out based on anybody that matches that criteria. So here's a screenshot from another account. When those drip campaigns start running, you're going to start to see some numbers over here. It's going to show you the contact or the lead name, the campaign name, and then what happened on that particular date if it was if if it sent that campaign you might see sometimes where it 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 didn't send the campaign because they've already been attached or something like that as well now when these drip campaigns start sending out you're going to have some additional reports available under the effectiveness tab so here I am back in the campaign section I'm looking at the effectiveness tab and I can see how many emails were sent how many were skipped and on the read tab I can start to see who opened each of my emails in my drip campaign. So you could start to tell if somebody had opened or not opened the emails in your drip campaign and you can of course click on that link and go to that contact or lead record. So to get up to get each of your three drip campaigns set up, you want to go through that same process with each one of those and depending on how quick you are at it, it might take you 20 or 30 minutes to get each of those drip campaigns set up, maybe a little bit longer if you want to go through and edit each of those messages. So Good luck and thank you.